Well, hello everybody. Welcome. I got a little bit of a banjo down here, but with the power of the waste not want not technology I have, we will fix this. Uh, this kind of broke. Uh, I was just trying to adjust my banjo head, and this this shoe bracket fell off. Say hey, Stephen. Shoe bracket kind of fell off. I'm not sure what kind of material this is. It kind of looks like rock. I don't know. I'm wrong about that. I know I am. I don't know what that's made out of. Not real expensive. But luckily, I have extras and spares, so I can probably fix this real quick. I apologize ahead of time. I'm in a hotel situation here, and uh, the, the sound quality, and I do my best to block out some of the noise. <laughs> but let me carry on here. It's like I got these little extra pieces here. This little bracket here is... Uh, one of the ones off one of my first banjos I ever got. I keep a hold of this stuff. And uh, I'm going to see if it'll fit and work on this one. Um, the only problem I did have here is the screws. Sorry if I'm getting this out of focus. The screw, the original screw that goes in the banjo here, uh, isn't long enough to reach this. And it's also a little bit too big for the threaded hole. I do have another bolt that I can try. And it is this guy here. I don't know if y'all are picking him up. I don't have to move it all. There we go. And uh, it seems to fit. So it's a galvanized bolt. But it seems to fit the shoe bracket. So I'm going to go ahead and put that on now. Make this repair. This is why we don't waste anything. If, uh, you know, you always save extra pieces. You never know when you're going to need it. So let me go ahead and put that in there now. And it comes out pretty far. I wonder if I should put this other washer on the back side, though. Maybe. Get that extra washer. I don't know if it'll hurt with the, with the uh, space or not. And it's already getting tight. Why are you getting so damn tight already? Let me get these. I, gotta, I know these are wire cutters, but they'll at least help hold the hex head down. Hold still while I try to get this to stay still. Well, come on now. She just does not want to stay still too much. And it looks bent, but that's okay. This is only temporarily. I'm going to do here. Temporarily here. I've got the other 24 bracket still hanging on, but. I will eventually uh, go and replace on these at some point in time. Um, but if y'all know where I, I want to try to get good quality ones though, and not these. These are kind of I don't know what again, I don't know what kind of material those are made out of. So if anybody has any suggestions where I can find some good quality shoe brackets and hooks for my old Joe here, I am open to suggestions because I want to fix this old guy up because I'm on a broke budget can't afford to buy a new one but maybe I can get the pieces a little bit cheaper well, once I get down here and see what I'm doing that would be better wouldn't it uh, here we go yeah just uh, let me know down there in the comment section I like to hear from y'all keep the communications open uh, there we go and uh get it down there as tight as I can I guess just where I can't turn it no more and that bolts a little bit too um, the shaft is a little bit too narrow than what the hole is um, so it's definitely not going to seat in there right but for right now this will get me through to what I need and the lesson here today is you just don't you waste not want not you keep things uh, keep things around you never know when you might need them um so there it is got that fixed so let me play a little banjo for you for just a minute or two Fine.
until next time, I'll see you when I see you.